Dear friends, uh, in this uh, video lecture, let us uh, discuss about the uniform flow, uh, particularly how the uniform flow is subjected to the uh, streamline and uh, equipotential line. Uh, first of all, let's see about uh, uniform flow. So uniform flow, we know well, uh, it is it is nothing but a streamline flow, we can just say, or okay, uh, flow with the constant velocity, okay. So when we say uniform flow is, uh, okay, flow with the, uh, constant velocity. Okay, then uh, how how we are uh, defining? So uniform flow along the x-axis. So uniform flow along the x-axis will look like uh, this. In this. So uniform flow along the x-axis will be like this. And uh, this flow will have the uniform velocity. That means like a constant velocity, nothing but uh, let's say it's okay. We are defining the uniform flow along the x-axis. So it is along the x-axis uh, we can say So let me draw the reference axis. So this is this is x axis and this is y axis. So our uniform flow is along the x axis with a velocity u. So now let's see about uh, the velocity components. So now we are saying that uh, this is uh, defined. Uh, for x-axis, that means uh, uniform flow is defined for the x-axis. They mean local velocity component, uh, nothing but uh, u, u and v, how we are defining. The so local velocity component u and v we are defining, uh, u will be equal to, this is u, and uh, v will be equal to zero. Because uh, in the uniform flow is only, okay, it is along the x-axis, which has the velocity, uh, constant velocity, nothing but uh, capital U. Then uh, if you are defining the stream function uh, for this uh, local velocity component, for U we know the stream function dou psi by dou y. And then uh, similarly for the V, we know the velocity component that is nothing but uh, dou psi by dou x. Then uh, if you are writing the equipotential lines uh, for this, uh, local velocity component and uh, this will be equal to dou phi by dou x and similarly this will be equal to dou phi by dou y. So uh, this is how okay, we are defining the uh, stream function and the velocity potential uh, function for the uniform uh, stream flow uh, okay, along the x-axis. Now let's see about uh, how these uh, streamlines and uh, equipotential lines uh, can be drawn. So first let's see about uh, you know, that uh, stream function. That means uh, u equal to uh, capital U, that is dou psi by dou y. So if you are uh, just simplifying, this will be equal to uh, dou psi equal to u into dy. So when if you are differentiating integrating then we will be getting the psi equal to first if you are differentiating integrating on both sides then we will be getting the stream function equal to u into y plus c. So this constant will be coming. So we can leave this constant and then we can say that uh, our stream function that means uh, stream function nothing but this is equal to u into y. So it is also, okay, we know that uh, uh, stream function along the streamline, that is nothing that is constant. So we can say stream function along the streamline is constant. So our free stream flow is also like a streamline flow. So that we can, uh, now we can define 
or we can draw the streamline that is nothing but uh, if you are drawing the streamline uh, for this uh, uniform flow then uh, our streamline will be uh, that means uniform uh, yeah streamline will be it is equal to uh, that is because we say streamline that uh, stream function psi equal to u equal to y so that is so then uh, we can just say that uh, for a different uh, y even for a different y then uh, this uh, streamline you can draw the different streamlines uh, for this given uh, equation so if i am saying the y equal to 1 then the y equal to 1 will be equal to this 1 then similarly y equal to 2 then y equal to 3 and y equal to 4 so like this uh, we can draw psi equal to this and then that will be equal to uh, we can say constant so instead of that we can say y1 y2 uh, y3 y4 like this so we can draw the streamline uh, that is this is the streamline uh, according to this equation this is a streamline okay we are getting uh, from this equation so yeah we can just okay so these are the streamlines we can say that uh, psi equal to u y so we can if you want to uh, give the notation we can say that uh, this is equal to something that means uh, psi equal to this is uh, psi equal to u2 this is psi equal to u1 so like this uh, u3 like this we can represent uh, this uh, streamline so now we got the <coughs> streamline uh, for the uh, uniform flow uh, now let's see about uh, equipotential lines so equipotential lines are nothing but uh, according to the our equation then uh, small u equal to this so we got the equipotential line dou psi by uh, dou pi by dou x so yes uh, then uh, if you are uh, integrating uh, dou pi equal to u into dx if you are integrating and then uh, we'll be getting pi equal to u x plus c so okay we know that uh, okay we can leave this constant then we can say that uh, uh, velocity potential functions uh, velocity potential functions along the equipotential line that is constant so we can say u x equal to constant that means equipotent that means velocity potential function along the equipotential line is constant that uh, equipotential line is uh, described by this equation so this is the equation you can say the equipotential line is uh, described by this equation that means uh, <clears throat> for different uh, locations uh, locations uh, okay in the x axis that will be defining the uh, equipotential lines so let's draw that equation uh, if you are drawing the equipotential lines then according to the equation that is nothing but uh, we said uh, it is uh, pi equal to uh, u into x so that is equal to constant so you may if you are drawing the line that line will be uh, yeah with respect to this so okay you can say that uh, at a different uh, yes so at different uh, x location this is what one two three uh, four five six seven so like this uh, we can draw the line this with respect to this the, this for location if you are drawing this line that will be like this then uh, another line will be with respect to this your drawing this will be like this then another line will be like this then another line will be like this so like this uh, we can draw the equipotential lines uh, for the uh, given equation so that's what it says so because uh, for every x means if you say x equal to 1 2 3 
that is nothing like a one so x equal to one and x equal to two x equal to three so like this uh, we can uh, get the different uh, uh, locations uh, for the x and uh, it can be represented in the uh, equation <coughs> substituted in the equation and uh, we can get the equipotential line so these are nothing but uh, equipotential lines we can say uh, like uh, yes uh, then uh, uh, yeah this is uh, uh, these are the equipotential lines. Uh, if you want uh, S uh, phi equal to uh, U, uh, yes, X1. This is uh, phi equal to uh, U, X2. So like this, we can uh, represent, okay? We can uh, represent the equipotential lines. So the th understanding is, uh, this is okay. Horizontal lines are uh, streamlines and uh, these vertical lines are equipotential lines. Now, okay, as we said in your previous class, whenever we say a yes, string lines and the equipotential lines are orthogonal to each other, it means uh, the angle between the string line and the equipotential line, that means uh, when they are intersecting, that angle will be 90 degree. That means uh, this angle only we are talking. So this angle, so every angle will be 90 degree. So that is what uh, we say this angle is 90 degree. That means, yes, so this is 90 degree. So based on this only we say. So based on the equation and based on the uniform flow that uh, we have drawn the uh, streamlines and the equipotential lines for, for the uh, uniform flow defined along the x-axis of 